diagnosis of mononeuritis multiplex is complex, and that's why it needs uh, careful attention by numerous providers. First, from a rheumatolo rheumatologic perspective, we look at many different serologic studies um, to rule out these underlying systemic disorders like lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and vasculitis. We also work closely with the neurologist um, to obtain nerve conduction studies which can show us the effect of nerves and the distribution whether they be you know one hand and one foot or you know symmetric which would give us a different uh, disease process. And finally we work with the surgeons to gain an accurate biopsy and then closely with a pathologist to read that biopsy to really help us nail down the proper differential diagnosis. So the treatment options for mononeuritis multiplex really depend on the underlying cause. For diabetes, we just treat the blood glucose and try to get the diabetes under control. But for our systemic diseases, which we focus on, we use other agents depending on what the underlying process is. So for non-systemic vasculitis, we start with just steroids. However, if there's other systemic components in lupus or vasculitis or rheumatoid arthritis, we start with other agents. Sometimes we consider them like chemotherapeutic agents, like cytoxan or cyclophosphamide, or we can also use rituximab if it's an ANCA-associated vasculitis, and sometimes when associated with rheumatoid arthritis, we'll use agents like an anti-TNF, like infliximab. Take-home points about mononeuritis multiplex are that this is a complex diagnosis and usually encompasses several diseases, and the most important part is figuring out which disease is causing the mononeuritis, whether it be isolated, or due to diabetes, or due to an underlying connective tissue disease like lupus, or vasculitis, or rheumatoid arthritis. Once those differential are examined through lab tests, and the next study would be a nerve conduction study, and then a biopsy. Once all that data is obtained, then we can go and work on possible treatment options, which oftentimes includes high doses of steroids and other immunosuppressive agents which need to be carefully monitored over a long period of time.